What is going on everybody? This is Bit W Zan of the Ichiban and Gamer Club and today we're going to be discussing the Game Awards 2018 and by we I mean the nonsense crew of course. We have Mazentia's on the East Coast and Secret Kitty joining us. You Kitty, you there or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm here. Just say hello to the people. Kitty come. On. I don't think you was in for last year's, right? So I don't think so, because I don't remember doing this. It's yeah, very... so this is your first time uh, chiming in on the Game Awards nominees. Yeah. I'm going to try to stay away from calling it the Video Game Awards, because I think I did that all of <laughs> fucking last year. So, um, But also joining us is uh, a new person, a new, a new friend of ours. Uh, we have Panther and Seven of his own channel, which is, I think, Black Panther and Seven, right? Or is it just Black Panther? Yeah, it's just pretty much the name I had on YouTube. I didn't get creative with it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm a fighting um, game channel. Yeah. I didn't choose to be a fighting game channel, but apparently, that's what people like. Uh, apparently so. I mean, you've, you're blowing out the water as far as, like, you know, getting subscri subscribers and views and stuff like that, as far as I see. So, you're, you're doing what you got to do, man. And, like, you, I've known you for, like, as long as I've known uh, Minister E. And you've always been, like, yeah, the, the video game kind of, like, you've kind of been, like, jack of all trades and everything, as far as, like, knowledge in video game, comics, especially fighting games and stuff like that. But... Uh, you know your stuff, so yeah. we usually uh, yeah. yeah go to you for information on these things. <laughs> High school me is X Men, Street Fighter, Lincoln Park. That simple. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln Park. Yeah, that takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Again, showing our age there. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the yeah. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd bring him in this year um, for the Game Awards 2018 and see what what his predictions and uh, his picks are for uh, these year's nominees. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it and get into uh, the first category, which is the big one, the main one, the game of the year. Uh, nominees are Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Celeste, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man on the PS4, Monster Hunter World, and Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'm going to go around the room, start with Mez. What is your pick for uh, game of the year? I mean, game, yeah, game of the year, and what do you think is going to actually win? Well, I'll say, like, going into this, I know you've made the joke before many times where I'm the Assassin's Creed guy. Oh, But <laughs> this is actually the first year where I didn't play the Assassin's Creed game when it came out. So I actually don't, like, have any opinion on it at all. So I don't know if it was good at all. Mm -hmm. And as far as the other games that are on this list, like uh, Monster Hunter World, Spider-Man, God of War, and Red Dead were all games that I loved when they came out. So this was, like, a really <laughs> tough one for me to pick because, like, they're all games that I put a lot of time into. But for me, personally, I think my game of the year, as far as the game I've played fully through and enjoyed, mm -hmm. will probably be God of War. God of War. Because, like, that one, I, when it came out, like, I, I was even a big fan of the original God of War series. And I just picked this one up, and I got—I was like fully into the game and into the story, the gameplay, and everything. So, like that was my okay. game of the year. Okay, I don't think a lot of people can fault you on that. Um, I can. Let's I go to. How was the ending? The, I enjoyed the ending. The fact that they, that they're, uh, like it kind of led into what might go into the second game, and like even their like post-credit scene that they kind of teased. Where they're going to be, like, they sh they show that they're going to be a second game where they're going further into the story. Is like there's something specific about the ending you didn't like, or oh, I got tired of the game from the beginning. Oh really? <laughs> I found that game a struggle. <laughs> I have streams where I put the game on and I fall asleep while streaming. Oh my god! What? I call wow. the game Dad of Boar. So Dad of Boar. So I'm interested in how people get. Like, I found, I couldn't get into the gameplay. I don't find Kratos interesting in this monotone. It's like, listen to Randy Orton give a promo. I really wasn't into that. <laughs> and I didn't care for this little brat kid. So I asked everybody, like, what do you like about this game? Because I'm probably yeah. doing it to try. I spent full price based off everybody giving the great reviews. Yeah. All my money's worth. So I probably will be going back to that game sometime <laughs> next year. just want to hear why you like mm -hmm. it, that's all. I mean, I, I, like, okay. I said, like, I. Maybe it is like a a, a kind of style Preference. thing, yeah. Because I did, en I do enjoy like kind of like button masher type games and stuff like that. 
But for me, like that's what it kind of was, and a lot of it. There is a lot of time you can spend traveling on the boat, where I can see that could be dead time. But for me, I I thoroughly enjoyed the game through the whole way. Right, mm-hmm. right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is a guy who can get through maps in Assassin's Creed, so that God of War is probably like <laughs> streamlined for him. Um, but all right, Panther, what what where are you going for your? Game of the year. Then. I would have told you that before they dropped the list. It was going to be Monster Hunter World. The whole oh. year before I bought Red Dead, it was between Monster Hunter World and Xenoblade, which didn't get on the list last year. Didn't make the list this year. Yeah. Red Dead, the more I play it, the more it's my number three this year. But Monster mm-hmm. Hunter World had me from the beginning of the year. I actually feel emotions when I play it, excitement. Yeah. I thought they finally, because I've been playing Monster Hunter since it first came out, back when we left yeah. high school. Mm-hmm. And they've been using I that remember. same engine, that same gameplay the yeah. entire time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And when they moved to hand, um, handheld devices, I'm like, I don't want to play that exact same game I played years ago, but people Terrible. love it. Yeah. The fact that they finally... I, I, I didn't enjoy it. They finally updated it, finally made mm-hmm. a multi-platform where not everybody can enjoy it. It's now one of their big, Capcom's biggest games. Finally up there with Resident Evil 4 and Street Fighter 2. So I think it's one of the greatest successes. The problems with the game are the obvious ones, not of monsters compared to the old school ones. But other than that, I think everything else is pretty good in that game. <laughs> okay. Like, honestly, that would have been like a close pick for me if it wasn't fact that like, for me, it relied a lot more on playing with other people to get the enjoyment yeah. out of the game. Which is pretty... That's how the original one was. I actually had the game first before I had online and yeah. I couldn't play the game at all. Then once I got my PS2 online, then I actually had a game. Yeah. So Monster <laughs> to, so Monster to War by yourself is kind of boring. But the game... This one works pretty well single player. I've seen people solo it online. They play. They pretty much go through the whole game by themselves. But I think, it's possible. Yeah. yeah. I think this game really shines in the multiplayer. Yeah. Okay. All right, Kitty. I want, I'm a, you're the wild card here. I'm interested to see where <laughs> where you're going to lean towards as far as uh, your game of the year. Then. Um. All right. So the only one I've played through all the way and not just five minutes of or watch gameplay of is Monster Hunter World. Here but I. Okay. I don't think that's going to win because like I liked it a lot, especially in the beginning, but it became Mm -hmm. really repetitive to me. Um, So then I kind of we kind of like fell off of playing it. Right. Like and it's Mm -hmm. really was only fun with other people for me by by myself. It wasn't as fun. Um, Who I think will win, though, is Red Dead Redemption 2, because it's like one of those games that you can play solo and you can play the story and then just like Grand Theft Auto and all those games, you can go back and play other things besides the story. And that like, yeah. like makes it interesting. And like you come back to it. Whereas that, some of the other games don't have that. I don't know what Celeste is. I should have watched like a trailer or something, but I think Red Dead Redemption 2 will win. Okay. Um, I, think that as well and but i'm choosing red dead redemption 2 as well even though it just came out like Mm -hmm. a a month ago at this point i can honestly say i don't think i believe that this is probably the best story that rockstar has ever done like bar none like i mean they weren't big into stories anyway like uh with the other games but this is like heads and tails above the best story they've ever done as far as stories as as for games that i played this year because i've i've finish this game at least the main story part of it um this is probably the best story i've played this year as well um i'm like it does have hiccups as far as like the way the rockstar engine is but i can like bypass that like overlook that stuff because i enjoy just everything else about the game enjoy the story i enjoy the the function of the game where you can like you know hunt for your clan and you get like invested in the characters in the game for that reason um I like doing all the little side missions. I like going, riding around the open world and seeing all these different stuff you can see and like how people experience the games. Like, they have a lot of the same like stuff in the game, but like, in the world, but people can experience it differently. And I've seen that in clips that I've seen from like even like when Panther puts up stuff on on his Facebook page. I'm like, wow, I didn't even do it that way, or like I don't do that at all. And he does a whole completely different thing. There's just so much to get from in this game, and this is before even the online is even, is introduced which I think will add another depth to it. So I can see this winning Game of the Year, and I that's the one I voted for for Game of the Year, is Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. So as, as far as, like, the one like, that were my pick and what I think would win, like, I, even though I picked God of War, I think Red Dead is going to take it because they're, like, the hype train behind Red Dead was so strong all year, 
And the fact that, mm-hmm. like, I feel like Rockstar didn't completely fall flat on their face and actually put out a good game with a good story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that is going to carry it towards Game of the Year for, like... Uh, it does have the advantage of coming out the like the latest out of all of yeah. these because okay. Monster Hunter World like the other advantage is on multi platform. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, Spider Man and God of War. Where yeah, a lot of people yeah. play Red Dead. Uh, true. That's true, too. And I and I think Monster Hunter World is. Hit. I had to remind Kitty that Monster Hunter World came out at the beginning of this year. She <laughs> yeah. thought it was last year. I was like, yeah. no, that came out like first thing, first month of the year. This came out, so I think that might hurt it as well. Like maybe a lot of people just forgot about it like at this point. Was- uh, unless they're yeah. unless they're PC players, because I think it just recently came out for P- or more recently came it out. Came out during PC. the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now I thought it would game of the year for a lot of people. It's like the whole yeah. year it's been about God of War until Spider Man dropped. Then that sold more mm-hmm. than God of War. Then Red Dead just made movie money. So I think yeah. 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 Which, I, okay. I, I was gonna say like one last thing I found crazy was like the fact that Sony has two of the exclusives on this list and. Microsoft and Nintendo are just not to be seen for Game of the War, Game of the Year. Oh, well, I'm I mean, personally annoyed Mike, by that. Uh, Since when the Spider Man and Sony exclusives? That just bothered me right off the bat as soon as I saw that. The God of War I give you, but Spider Man, yeah. what kind of deal you guys made to get Spider Man exclusives? Especially Insomniac. They made Buku Bucks deal. They made a Buku. Insomniac they... was back in Xbox One when it first came out. So yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that always bothers me about that company. But it's good. It works. It makes money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Nintendo won last year, so Microsoft is the one that's fucking struggling right now to get yeah, anything on here. I just let it go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought the numbers a while ago, they don't sell yeah. in Europe. Like, PlayStation 4 is still selling really well in Europe. Japan has never Jesus. been placed for Xbox, and Americans nope. already chose the system as PlayStation. And Nintendo's coming up. Nintendo's doing good in um, America, and it's doing better than the PlayStation 4 in Japan. Microsoft is not even in the conversation anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Good. We'll get more to them with their <laughs> with their nominees later on too. But uh, let's move on to yeah, best nice. ongoing game. <laughs> <laughs> best ongoing game. We have the nominees: Destiny Two, Forsaken. Which I don't know if that's a, a game, but okay, whatever's ongoing, I guess. Uh, mm-hmm. Fortnite, No Man's Sky should be really No Man's Sky next. Um, Overwatch and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, Mez, what do you got? Uh, for me, it will probably be destiny 2 because that's mm. um of the games on this list is probably the game i actually put a lot more time into like we go back to overwatch once in a while but usually when i do go back to it it's with you guys and it's on um like not as frequently as you may play it or kitty may play it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and no man's sky we went back to for all of a cup two of coffee cup of coffee yeah yep so like at least with uh with Destiny two, I said a couple weeks ago it was like with the changes they made with the Forsaken DLC, and with the whole si- like it felt like a whole kind of system upgrade to their the kind of um what they're doing with the guns and the power levels and stuff like that. It made it a, a yeah. Much, how you get uh, how you get gear in that game yeah. completely changed mm-hmm. and like and how you complete the challenges and the bounties completely changed to make this game extremely way better and more fun yeah it's way more playable than it was when it came out last year so that'll be probably the ongoing one because they, they made the most improvements to it and feel like they listen to the fan base a lot more yeah which they're gonna go back on now but all right panther where where are you going for uh for best ongoing game the one i'm surprised i actually like is fortnite Gave the game a try oh, and I wow. got into it. <laughs> yeah. I got into the game. I'm surprised. Having my girl play it. You know what it is about Fortnite mm-hmm. that I like? The stuff I, the stuff part of it. How you can hide. It's basically the good parts of Hunger Games and Battle Royale. But other uh-huh, than, the okay. combat itself is mediocre. You've seen this anywhere. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing special about that. The character design is all bad. I'm sorry. And the dancing is ridiculous. But the kids <laughs> love it. But the kids love it. But I find the gameplay pretty much... Like I, I don't know why. Let's get into it. I, I, I have no reason why. I have no idea. They got why. you. It's got me. <laughs> Destiny Two I actually own. I have not pressed start in it yet, so I can't vote for that. I own it. Really? Like at all? I have it. I could download it right wow. now on Xbox One and play. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> no Man's Sky. Wow. Everybody spoke so bad about the game. I just, I just left it alone. I'm not even gonna touch it. <laughs> now Tom Clancy made me it. Now Tom Clancy Rainbow Six is a good game. My brother plays it a lot. I tried it out. Yeah. I'm biased. I prefer the old school style Rainbow Six and the fact that it just dropped that completely went for the multiplayer. 
which is multiplayer. I never thought that Ubisoft did that well because I used to play Rainbow Six multiplayer. But from what I'm hearing, everybody saying through the updates is really good. Mm-hmm. But I'm just not into it. I watch my yeah. brother play it a lot, but I play Fortnite. I'm I'm the same way. I see it a lot, and I'm like, uh, it, I, I know a lot of people enjoy. I like to see a lot of streamers enjoy playing it and stuff like that. But it's just not my uh, style. I'm like, nah. I'm I tried okay. the free demo one time. I'm like, this is okay. It's not what Rainbow Six mm-hmm. is supposed to be about. But it's, it works. I mean, mm. I'm happy it made a good turnaround. Now the game's profitable now. Everybody loves it. Overwatch, I just dropped off completely. I'm probably not going to go back into that. That was a game where me and my brother had to sit there and have a conversation. Do we want to buy this game? And if we do, are we going to play together? <laughs> we did for a while, but then he went ranked. And then I just dropped off uh-huh. completely. <laughs> he didn't come back for you? He's like, no. He did. And the kids are... <laughs> he left you behind. The thing before that is I play with kids, and I really don't get annoyed by the kids. Overwatch, so mm. the kids annoy the hell out of me. So I have to go with Fortnite. So in Fortnite, you can kill the kids without having to be teens with them. But in Overwatch, since you had to be teens, you're like, nah. I don't. <laughs> and more people use their voice. People, more people use their mics when I was playing Overwatch than with Fortnite. Mm. Mm. So you got a lot more. I mean, I played, for the time I played, I did get in arguments. Mm. Pointless, ridiculous arguments with people that could tell they're either teenagers, a lot of kids that curse, and man-childs. And I just, man-childs, and I can't do it anymore. So the internet, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like think online it's multiplayer has been like that since I think Halo 2 or I don't something. I like. played Fortnite, which is amazing. So I like for, actually wow. uh, nothing messes up my Fortnite experience. So I actually, yeah. uh, what platform do you play That's Fortnite on? Switch and Xbox. I play them both. Of them. Just okay. Play wow. one, jump, go my room, lay down, play the Switch one. He's, he's yeah, he's he's all in on the Fortnite then. Wow. Which is Uh-oh. a good way. All right. That's a great way to play the games. So you can just play on one console, jump off, jump another console. That's oh yeah, amazing. they do the multi-platform thing. That yeah, but Sony That's doesn't or Sony. Points, yeah. It's going to soon. <laughs> it adds points. Um, okay, Kitty, where do you see for a best ongoing game? As if we don't um, know. Um, <laughs> as if we don't know. Surprisingly, I've played actually all of these, at mm-hmm. least for five minutes. Tom Clancy is the least <laughs> amount that I've played. Um, so for me, I put a lot of time into Destiny 2, and it hurt me. <laughs> so I can never go back to it. Um, so I think my pick is going to be Overwatch because besides the fact that like so many people play it, like it's always fun. And then just the big events that they have around it, right? Like the, the championship that they have, Mm -hmm. it's like on par, I think with League of Legends, right? Where it's like this huge game that multiple types of people can play, right? It's not just little kids and it's not just like, you know, older people. It's like everybody's included into that game so i think i think overwatch is gonna win that's my pick as well okay okay um for my pick it was kind of a it's kind of a toss because i think overwatch won last year anyway for this uh category um but and then like i'm kind of like messed too because like i like the changes that destiny 2 for uh, forsaken made for the game but if I'm talking about, if I'm thinking about it just as the category's sake, is like a, an ongoing game. I, I take that as like a game that I, I'm going to keep playing and the content's going to keep drawing me in. Mm-hmm. I don't think Destiny 2, especially the way they're talking about now, is going to do that. Like I can see myself just going away from Destiny 2 if I need to. Like it's fun to jump back in from time to time, but I don't see it like keep me enthralled for like a very long time. Like Forsaken was good, but I think that's going to be like the tipping point where I think as Overwatch the Lord and Savior will always have of me course. coming back in. You know, it can do no wrong in my eyes. So I'm going to go Overwatch, even though I won last year and I picked the last year. But I, the one that I think is going to win is going to be Fortnite. I think that's the the hot new trend this year. I think that's the uh-huh. hype train. I think that's going to get the, the, the stuffed ballots <laughs> from the kiddos. So I think Fortnite will win uh, this category. Um, it's, it's the trend. So... Um, Moving on, we'll go to Best Game Direction. Uh, nominees are A Way Out, uh, Detroit Become Human, God of War, Marvel's Spider-Man, and Red Dead Redemption 2. Mezin, what do you got for this one? Well, I would say like, based off like what they're calling the actual, like, their kind of description of what it was, which mm-hmm. is the game studio of outstanding creative vision, and stuff like that like even though i gave god of war the game of the year they're 
thing wasn't really like a different like vision of what the original God of War was. So it's not mm-hmm. a, like a big change for what God of War usually is. So I can't really get that one like best game direction. Okay. And even with like you mentioned with uh, Red Dead, how it kind of used the GCA engine, and like there's, mm-hmm. there's not a big change in that either. Uh, for what we played, honestly, I think it might be a way out because it was a very mm. different style from any other game that has come out before or this year. Because we only we didn't play it that long. We played it for like a couple of hours, but mm-hmm. I did see like other streams from it, and kind of like the the way you play the game is very different than any other game that I've seen in a while. So, as far as, like, game direction and, like, the way they describe this category, I think that one yeah. would be the best choice for it. I don't know if it would actually win it because of the popularity of the other games in the category, but that mm. would be my choice. Okay. Um, Panther, what do you got for best game direction? I didn't really pick one. I mean, I'm going to go with what might win. I'm not even sure. Okay. I watched you guys play A Way Out. And yeah. from what... It sounds it, from the way the game is described and what I've seen. It sounds interesting. God of War, of course, I'm not going to pick that. <laughs> Spider Man, I'm a little bit iffy on because I've, my brother has the game. I could borrow it from him. I, I decided not to borrow it. From what I've seen, it don't like anything I haven't seen before. When I heard about from the story from like comic fans, yeah, it sounds good, but it's nothing I wouldn't say like in terms of video games. Mm-hmm. Something create, like innovative toward, towards the video yeah. game field. Red Dead gets a little bit of points because I don't like Westerns. I don't like Western movies. I don't watch Westerns at all. I'm not a fan of Cowboys. Oh. I'm not a fan of that time of the year in, in America, <laughs> in the, history, the point of history. Yeah. But I do like the way they handle it, which is why I would go for it, but I don't I don't think a hard vote for it. Nothing I solidly in behind. Okay. Okay. Kitty, where do you see yourself in a best game direction? Um, I'm going to go with God of War. Um biasness because I like <laughs> I like okay. I've always liked God of War and like their myth what they use is mythology right so like to me that you, you have a lot of creative things you can make out of that whereas the other ones like Marvel or like Spider-Man you you kind of mm-hmm. know what they're gonna do in Red Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 as well um I can't remember watching you guys play way out yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of videos on on the channel yeah. for us Mez and I playing a way out. Yeah, I don't remember though. Yeah. Wow, I think it. <laughs> don't remember means you just didn't watch it. Okay, <laughs> we get it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Maybe I took uh, that offer from our um, <laughs> from our podcast. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I think God of War is my pick though. Okay. My biasness. Um, which one do you think is gonna win though? You think? God of War uh, will win this one too. I think Detroit Become Human looks interesting. Like they had a lot game of direction. Yeah, mm. that one. Hmm. Okay. Um. So for my pick on this one, I kind of like steered way like I steered away from the creative aspect of it and more on the like I guess the innovation. And I think Marvel Spider Man kind of like innovated more into that series than than the other ones did. Like even more than a way out, which like yeah it did something like creative and new that we haven't seen in like i I think there's been games like that but it's been a while Mm -hmm. since we've seen games like that but just for the fact that there was a lot of things that could have gone wrong for marvel spider-man it could have been a huge letdown and it actually succeeded in everything it wanted to do and like kind of like like perfected all the things that that were already in place that that like the swinging mechanics and like just going through like um like hopping around from city from building to building and stuff like that. The combat is way better than than the other games that were out from from these series and stuff like that. So I think it did a good job in innovating the uh, the series or the character than anything else on it. Even more than like I said, than Red Dead. Even though I picked that one for Game of the Year, it's I wouldn't say it's like an innovation. It's it's bigger. It's a bigger like GTA. It's a bigger Red Dead Redemption one, but. It's still a lot of the same things you're doing. It's just, yeah, it's just more finely tuned. But I think Spider Man did a better right job of that. Rather than. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The one I think is going to win. 
I think for the wrong reasons, maybe Red Dead will win, but just because it's like out to and it might be hyped up or whatever. But I don't think I, I think it, w- it might win this category, but I, I don't think it'd be for the, the right reasons because it's not really creative or innovating in anything that I see. Even though I picked Red Dead, when I played a game, there's two games that has like the game around we have Breath of the Wild and a game mm-hmm. called State of the K2 for the Xbox One, mm. which a lot of the cap features are done better in that game. What Red Dead does pretty well is the hunting aspect. But is it yeah. it's not yeah. a hunting game, though? It's the problem. What's the no. time span? It's incredible. Yeah. And that's the reason why, I don't, even though I like the game a lot, I will play as my number three for the year. A lot of the criminal elements, it's tired. They've been doing that since, what, since Grand Theft started. It's pretty mm-hmm. much the well that Rockstar keeps going to. I mean, it's a good game, but it's the innovation. Even I wouldn't give it to that now. All right. Let's uh, move on to... Best Narrative, which is an outstanding storytelling and narrative development. We have the nominees, Detroit Become Human, God of War, uh, Life is Strange 2, Episode 1, Marvel, Spider-Man, and Red Dead Redemption 2. Man, these guys are just on there all the time. Same games. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. that's Um, what I pick. Mez, uh, what do you got for this Best Narrative? Um, For this one, we already talked a lot about most of the games that are on this list. They've been showing Mm -hmm. up everywhere. But yeah. for this one, uh, actually, I went with Spider-Man because uh, okay. even though it's a classic like comic book story, and if you know comics, you kind of know where it's going. It, mm-hmm. The way they did the story and the way they used the characters from the Spider-Man world. and yeah, They did change them up. Yeah, there, so. they kind of used those same characters and, and created their own story and created their own world with it. So mm. I like the way they used... Pre- and it's really hard to use something that already pre-exists in so many different ways, whether it's like movies, comics, other games. Like it's in so many different mediums already, and people already know it in so many different ways. And to kind of take that, make it fresh, and not completely ruin what the characters are. And I feel like they did that really well. So they got my pick for best narrative. Okay. Uh, Panther, you said same pick. Oh no! Now, oh okay, what you got? You looked at the Video Game Awards on YouTube. You noticed something in the comment section a couple of times. Why is Xenoblade Two not anywhere on this list? That's my actual. Pick. Which is what? Xenoblade, Why is Xenoblade Two is not anywhere oh. on this award show. I actually think that I'm a now who I think is probably going to win. I have no idea. I don't think Red Dead <laughs> Story is going to bring it. Spider Man. How, how did you finish Red Dead Story? No, nah, I stopped because I want to hunt some more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> What Matt just said about Spider-Man's story is exactly what I heard from the comic book websites. These, if you're familiar with the story, they streamline a little bit. So it feels more like an uh, alternate reality, which the comics do this all the time. Mm-hmm. After a while, because Spider-Man's story starts in the 60s, they always take some time, do an alternate universe, or another separate universe where they retell you the story over again, and this time streamline it. From what I heard from comic fans who are familiar with all the Spider-Man stories, that they made it better in this one than they did in comics. But that's, of course you can. It's hindsight. Like, things like the Clone Wars, you can fix a lot of things over time. Yeah. But my problem with that is I'm going to pay attention to those stories my whole life. life. So that's why this will pull me in as a a narrative (laughs) story. I'm already familiar with these stories. Xenoblade, actually, is my favorite story of the year. It would never win because it's, like, America has anime bias. You see a lot of times. Like, oh, it's an anime (laughs) game or that kind of game, that waifu game. I think that story was overlooked. It's about 1.2 1. 2 million um, units on the Switch. So even the Switch owners aren't really buying it. But people that do buy it give it high reviews. So yeah. that's my honorable mention. So you're going to do, a, your, you're gonna do your, your write-in right ballot right now? Right <laughs> <laughs> your write-in nominee? Yeah. <laughs> Other. That, yeah. That's it for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kitty? Uh, I think Red Dead. From what I hear, like people keep comparing Spider-Man and Red Dead. Red Dead is the story is way better, so I think that's what it's gonna be. I haven't played either one of them though, so I can't tell for sure. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, Spider. It, it came down to Spider Man or Red Dead for me as well. Um. I, I just just the fact that I finished the Red Dead Redemption Two storyline, I gotta give it to Red Dead Two. It's like it it does draw you in, man. It does draw the story draws you in. It gets to a point where it draws you in, and there's I, I felt between the two, I felt more like an emotional connection with the Red Dead Redemption 2 characters 
than I did with Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Like, it was cool. I have tons of fun playing um, this thing. And it was like a really close thing. If I had, like, you know, second place, I would probably give it to Marvel Spider-Man as far as story goes. But the more you play into Red Dead Redemption 2, the more the story actually sucks you in and you want to play more and you want to know more and find out what happens to these characters and stuff like that. And it, it does, it, it, it draws emotion from you. So I like games that do that because it's very rare that games actually draw any kind of emotion from players. You kind of just go through the motions with it and just like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to shoot whoever, I don't care, you know? But yeah, it drew you in where you actually want to do, you know, the stuff, I don't want to say too much, but you actually want to do the stuff in this game and like, you know, play into the character more. Um, I think one of the things I told Mez when we first started playing, it was like, the character Arthur Morgan was very like kind of blank slate kind of a character where you could like imprint yourself into it and that changes the later you go into the game. At least that's how I feel. I got a question. Um, what's that? I took the Rockstar games. The first one I tried was San Andreas. I paid the first third and I dropped it. I have a problem okay. with my bias personally with playing criminals in video games. Arthur Morgan I actually like but his gang? Yeah. I would mm -hmm. rather bring those guys to justice. They do some things I, even I'm not. I'm half the joke <laughs> as part of the story, but that's what brings it mm -hmm. down to me. You guys don't mind like the whole criminal element to it? I I think it's how, like, it, it fits in with the character, with the story they're trying to tell. I don't mind it because it, it's it, they're telling the story with this character. Like, this is just the time that they're in. You know, like, you either going to be an outlaw or you're going to be like a politician or a businessman or just some Joe Schmo like that. Like you have to be something in this time of like a, in, in this time of point in America, you would have to be something. And coming from the way they came from, it makes sense for him to, you know, be a criminal at least. And as you go on into the story, like I, I really don't want to like say too much, but like. You see, you give a little bit of spoiler. The, was that? You can give a little bit of a spoiler. But, well, I don't want, because like I don't want to do it for Mez, because then Mez is going to like, he's yeah. playing it too. Um there's there's stuff that happens in the game where like how you are as a as arthur morgan it 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 does like it is there's a change to the to the story or to the characters in this game and stuff like that right. it 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 evolves and it develops into something different and then you can kind of see like oh okay now you get the name of the game <laughs> i'll say that like you get why they named it this and now they didn't call it red dead something else like you you understand why so yeah. That's that's as far as spoilerish that I'll go to, but I'll say right. go, going to like, like kind of going on with a uh, Panther was talking about too. Like I kind of know what you're talking about because there's a lot of times where, like, well, we, we, well Zan was kind of saying was like Arthur Morgan's kind of a blank slate. So when I was playing with him, was like a lot of the times when I'm not doing story missions and just out in the world, like my character is not geared towards being criminal. Exactly. But then when I go to the story, it's kind of like, oh, now we're gonna rob this bank, I'm like. That, that doesn't go mm -hmm. along with the character that I was building, but it's the character that is being built in the game. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I get yeah. the outside I was thinking story, about that, too. Like, um, American history part of it in the West. Mm -hmm. I understand all that, and I get that. But then, when I'm killing half a town to save Mika, I'm like, yeah, screw that guy. Leave that guy in jail. <laughs> I think this game would better. I think Rockstar would benefit more of that at choices to their games. Or at least to something like this. Yeah, I mean, there. I murdered half you the get time. choices later. You get choices later on. Good. I will say That's that. Good for me. Okay. Yeah. Let's, um, let's leave it at that. You get choices later <laughs> on. <Yeah. laughs> 